Um, you know, we're always uh, very cautious when operating the larger ships, but a lot of people don't, don't know how to react uh, and they can't anticipate what the larger ships are going to do uh, in the bay and especially at the Gravenhurst Narrows. So uh, we're just trying to educate uh, uh, the boat rental uh, operators and, and renters um, to the best we can. Uh, just to try and anticipate what the larger ships are doing and and the fact that we can't maneuver near as well as smaller vessels. So uh, the larger ship always has the right of way and uh, you know just it's just a matter of education we believe. I mean we want everyone to have fun and we want it to be done in a safe way. One of the challenges of course is that people not respecting how long it takes for those steamships to, to slow down or turn and thinking it's a great thing to go right up beside them when the captain can't even see them. We were talking about a situation where a sea dew was literally right beside it. He had no idea where the sea dew went um, or whether it was in trouble. Um, we have uh, those that are out on the water with uh, sea dews that are that are really um, going close to boats. They're wake jumping behind boats, so, and and I, I won't go as far as to say that it's just renters. The one thing that that really worries our captains is when you see uh, boats towing um, uh, children or water skiers, either on uh, you know inflatable tubes or or water skiing. And what they'll do is they'll cut across the front of the larger ships, and and of course the large ships can't can't maneuver as, like I said, can't maneuver as good as uh, they would like to, and uh, you're taking your child across in front of these, the, the bow of these vessels. So uh, we would just ask that you don't do that, and if you're going to do that, make sure you do it, you know, 500, 1,000 yards away from the vessel. So we have time to to maneuver in case a skier drops or someone falls off the, the tube. So that's all we would ask. The OPP are, are, have uh, three boats, sometimes four, particularly on the weekends, uh, where, but they do have to cover Lake, Lake Muskoka, Lake Rosso, Lake Joseph. Uh, and there's only so much they can do. Uh, we will have the OPP uh, with a dock space here at the wharf. Uh, it will hopefully be somewhat of a deterrent for those that are here when they see an OPP boat. Uh, but it really, it really comes down to uh, respect for other people respect for their cottages, for their boating, because there's lots of people that do a great job of boating and care about other people, but there's lots of others that don't, and and really don't understand what the ramifications are if you are not paying attention. And it can happen so fast. Accidents happen quick, as we all know. Once an accident happens, you say, what was I thinking, or what were they thinking? And at the time, it wasn't a big deal, or you never thought it was a big deal, but it turned out that it was a pretty significant issue. So we've had two meetings with the OPP and the boat rental companies this year and we anticipate another one at the end of the summer to review those situations that have happened this this year and see if we can make it a whole lot better for next year. Uh, we would just ask that everyone be safe um, you know wear their life jackets um, if uh, well you're supposed to wear your life jackets at all times so um, that's something you should be doing and uh, especially if you're inexperienced in, in in boating and you're inexperienced in these waters because there's uh, there's lots of hazards and if you don't know where they are then you can find them very quickly.